Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered. That is the title of this dual memoir by Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hardstark, some of my favorite people in the world. They are the hosts and creators of my absolute favorite podcast, My Favorite Murder. I absolutely love this podcast. I listen to it every week. I Actually, I listen to it every day. And if you're into true crime and comedy, it's, I highly recommend this podcast. It's hilarious. And I hope that after listening, to my speech, you will be able to summarize three points of the podcast, My Favorite Murder. The first one being one of the hosts, Karen Kilgariff. The second one being the other host, Georgia Hardstark. And the third being the basic layout of the episodes. So let's get started. Karen Kilgariff made her debut in the entertainment industry in the early 90s when she went to San Francisco to become a stand-up comedian. She worked really long and hard, and in 2003, Ellen DeGeneres asked her to be the opening act for her tour. And after that, she went on to be the head writer for the Ellen DeGeneres talk show, and she's performed and written on so many TV shows, it's impossible to count. Moving on to my next point. <coughs> the other host, Georgia Hardstark. Now, while Karen was in San Francisco making a name for herself, Georgia was in her house filming YouTube videos with her friend, which I think is awesome, and it obviously paid off, because in 2009, she uploaded a video about how to make a specialty cocktail called a McNuggetini, and it has a McDonald's shake, vodka, a barbecue sauce rim, and a chicken nugget garnish. And I watched the video that went viral and it looked like it tasted as disgusting as it sounds. But that landed, it went viral, and that landed Georgia and her friend their very own cooking show on the Cooking Channel. Fast forward a couple years to 2014 and Karen and Georgia find themselves at the same Halloween party. And Karen, being the stand-up comedian she is, she was trying to entertain the guests by telling them a story, but it was about how this gruesome crime that she actually witnessed, and none of the guests wanted to hear it. They were all silent and sort of backing away, except for Georgia. Georgia rushed forward and was like, tell me everything. <laughs> So they even mentioned in their book that that moment what they felt like they had, they were two kindred souls just meeting for the first time. And they bonded over their lifelong love of true crime and comedy. And since they were already in the entertainment industry and they already each individually had podcasts of their own, they decided why not make a podcast about this? That brings me to my third point the layout of My Favorite Murder. So each of the hosts pick a murder that they found interesting that week and they talk about it. They don't tell each other what the other murder is, so it's kind of a, a mystery as they're recording the podcast. From there, they just have a discussion about the murder and this is where they really open up about themselves. They tell anecdotes from their lives, they offer advice to their listeners, like stay out of the forest, and uh, you're in a cult, call your dad, or my personal favorite, pepper spray first, ask questions later. <laughs> in the earlier episodes, they noticed that they were feeling down after both of them talked about the murders. It left the podcast on a really sad, depressing note, so they added a segment in their podcast called effing hooray, and that's basically where they talk about any highlight of the week they had. They could talk about a good restaurant they went to, a movie they saw that they really liked. Georgia often talks about her cats, and Karen talks about her dogs. And I remember listening to the sixth episode of the podcast, and they were really struggling on how to wrap it up and end it, and by this point they didn't have any routine. And Karen just decided to say, 
stay sexy. And Georgia was like, then don't get murdered. And <laughs> it caught on. <laughs> and they've ended every single episode like that since. And I think now they're on like almost 300 episodes. It's, it's a long show. <laughs> To conclude, I would like to review the points that I made in this presentation. The first point was about the first host, Carrie Kilgariff, and how she started in the entertainment industry. The second point was about the other host, Georgia Hardstark, and how she made her debut. And the third point was about the basic layout of the podcast, My Favorite Murder. <clears throat> I've listened to a lot of podcasts in my life and none of them have made such an impact on me as this one. They feel like they're my best friends or big sisters giving me advice on how to live, and they think of the podcast as sort of therapy to talk about their anxieties about murder and everyday life. And they taught me how to value my safety which is not something that I did before. And they taught me that I don't have to apologize for valuing it and that I can stay sexy and not get murdered. <laughs> Thank you.